guys, what's up? It's Laura from Laura Marie Plans, and today I'm back with another video. Uh, today I am eating only Asian food for 24 hours. I started this last night at about 12 a.m. and we will eat Asian food only until 12 a.m. tonight. So basically all of Lunar New Year. It is Saturday, February 10th, Lunar New Year, and I'm at my parents' house currently here for Hot Pot, so we're gonna eat, eat, eat. And uh, I probably won't go to an extreme and like overstuff myself because I just don't want to do that or get sick. But uh, yeah, I thought this would be a fun video in honor of Lunar New Year. And I hope you guys enjoy. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I will take you guys to my first meal and then I will see you guys soon for Hot Pot. It is currently Saturday, February 10th, officially Lunar New Year at 12.29 a.m. And we are starting this Eat Asian Food for 24 Hours in honor of Lunar New Year. Off with a bang, we ordered from BBQ Chicken, which is really good. It's in Virginia. I don't know if they're elsewhere, um, but this is Maryland, but I don't know if they're elsewhere beyond that. Um, this is a uh, really good Korean chicken. All that was really open at this hour where we live is Korean food because there's an abundance of Korean food and apparently the Chinese food places don't want to stay open late. Uh, but tomorrow we will be having Chinese food. So this is our first meal of the 24 hours. Um, I got steamed rice and we got uh soy garlic chicken korean barbecue chicken look at this fancy box it has like a hole and everything oh yeah that looks so good so here we go first meal of the 24 hours oh i also got a strawberry lemonade to drink and you could get it with boba but i don't trust that so All right i'm taking a bite mm. really good i think i might like the honey garlic better because it's sweeter but i think Jake likes the soy garlic better, probably. I'm just guessing. It's nice and crispy. The sauce is always very little that they give you, but it's kind of enough. And it's definitely got a little kick. So I'm glad I got a drink. Mmm. <laughs> but it's so good. I would say, delivery-wise, it's pretty good. Pretty happy. We didn't want to go out, so pretty good. I'd say it's like a 7.5 out of 10. My first meal, Korean barbecue chicken. Talk to you guys tomorrow. The nice thing about hot pot is you don't have to cook anything. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back from my hot pot lunch with my family, I have to come sit down, talk about it all, and review it all with you guys. Obviously, my parents cooked it, so I'm not going to be very harsh, but we had the most amazing dumplings that my mom made. I think she's bringing them for our Super Bowl party tomorrow, too, which is a win. Um, the dumplings were definitely the highlight. We had lots of pork and stuff, beef that we just cooked um, in the hot pot, noodles, vegetables, tofu, uh, fish cakes, meatballs, everything. So that was all super, super good. I love doing hot pot. I think it's so fun and it's like a Lunar New Year tradition. Oh, we also had this amazing bread my parents got from the Chinese grocery store that was really, really good. That bread was so good. Jake and I crushed that bread. Okay, so I have everything pulled up here and the lucky things to eat for Chinese New Year. So I definitely had dumplings, which is for wealth. 
Um, I didn't have egg rolls. I had noodles, which is for happiness and longevity. Um, I didn't have fish, but there were fish cakes. Um, I personally don't like the fish cakes, but that is to increase prosperity and abundance. Um, I didn't have a whole chicken or duck. I might do that tonight, but probably not. Um, for luck and wholeness, I had pork, which is for a rich, prosperous, prosperous life. Um, we did have shrimp, which was for liveliness and happiness. We had green vegetables, which is for renewal and energy. Um, and then we have the Chinese New Year cake, the Nangao, which is to increase income or position. So we had that for dessert, and that was super good. I love Nangao. Um, it's definitely an acquired taste, so not a lot of people like it, but I like it. Um, and then we had glutinous rice balls, kind of. Um, we had like something else filled with like black beans, so it wasn't really glutinous rice balls, but glutinous rice balls, definitely something I want to get today because I love those. And then oranges and tangerines I've been eating all day because I love oranges during this time of year. Um, and that is, they are round and golden and lucky. So that is basically it. Um, I had some dessert after my hot pot. It was all a 10 out of 10 because my parents provided it all and did it all for me. So I'm rating that one obviously well. Um, next up, I think we're going to do dinner. Obviously, we skipped breakfast. We just went right into lunch today, but we're going to do dinner. We're going to get Chinese food for sure. Yeah, that is my review of my second meal, my uh, hot pot meal. I couldn't really review it in the moment because my whole family was there and I wasn't going to sit down and vlog while my whole family family was there so hope you guys enjoy this retro review retro review is that the word I don't know I'm making things up but I will see you guys in my next meal hello guys we are here with meal number three I changed my outfit into my comfy clothes because we were so tired after that hot pot that we took a nap and we decided not to go out tonight to eat so we ordered in Chinese food um so first we have chicken and fried rice. Oh, that looks good. Chicken and fried rice. Chicken doesn't really look that Chinese, but next up we have fried dumplings. Lunar New Year classic slash date classic. We have wonton soup. Wonton soup. We have, I think, the Chinese donuts, which I thought it was going to be yo chiao, which is different than that, but I don't really know English pronunciation. We have white rice. We have the one, the only, this is what I ordered, Szechuan beef. These are my favorite, the crispies. Is that all we got? That's all we got. Szechuan beef. So good. If you haven't tried Szechuan beef, try it from any place, but it has to be a good Chinese place. Also known as crispy shredded beef, depending on where you order it, like mm -hmm. the place where we did. Oh, I don't know that. Mmm. Mm. What's up, guys? The Szechuan beef or crispy shredded beef was amazing. Immaculate, 10 out of 10. It actually traveled really well this time, and it usually doesn't. So, yeah, the fried rice was not very good. I honestly don't think I ever have good fried rice uh, outside of my dad's fried rice or fried rice in Thailand at my family restaurant. Like, I don't like any other fried rice usually. Fried rice. I'm so picky. And this fried rice is just not it. I'd rather eat crappy noodles than crappy rice. <laughs> um, The dumpling, yeah, I said it was good, but it's really not QQ. The meat in it is good, but... But the... I don't know how to, how would you explain QQ? Like, it's just like, you know what QQ is. It's, no, it's like, QQ is it like, means, the, it means soft, but not mushy. Yeah. The Michelin guide says it's the Asian version of al dente. 
Anyways, this is not QQ and it's not hard to make good dumpling meat. It's not. It is hard to have a good dumpling outside. What do you call the outside? Wrapper? No. Uh, that's like the white word for it. I don't think it's called wrapper. Anyways, the outside, not QQ, not finishing the dumplings, but Jake probably will because he thinks those are good dumplings. Um, these crispy thingies, so good. I think they came with Jake's soup, but they're dank. Above, I got the sunrise tea from Boba Pop with regular sugar, less ice, boba, and jelly. The sunrise tea is a mix of my, one of my, or two of my favorite flavors, strawberry and passion fruit. And it's so good. The boba is so QQ. Can I use QQ with boba? Because this is QQ. I don't know. Jake got the Vietnamese coffee. He likes Vietnamese coffee a lot. Highly recommend going to Boba Pop. I'm sure they're in your area. I, they gotta be. They gotta be. I'll try and link all the places I, eat, I ate at down below. But... Yeah, because I think they're all chains. Except for the, the Chinese food tonight. That was from a small local Chinese restaurant, so I'm not linking that down below. But just this food is all so generic, you can get it anywhere.